I personally felt he could have reached a decision. In your view, he could have reached a conclusion. Right, he could have reached a conclusion. Well, I mean, he seemed to suggest yesterday that there was another venue for this, and that was Congress. Well, I, I'm not sure what he was suggesting, but, you know, the Department of Justice doesn't use our powers of investigating crimes as an adjunct to Congress. That is the Attorney General Bill Barr earlier today on CBS saying he believes Bob Mueller could have made a call or should a call on whether or not there was a crime and did not. California Congressman Devin Nunes, ranking member of the House Intel Committee. Sir, good morning to you and thank you for your time from your from your home district there in California. You, you. you saw the headlines on Barr. What did you think of his second interview now in two weeks? Well, I'm glad he's being out there and also stating fact, which is Department of Justice is not supposed to be telegraphing whether or not somebody is possibly guilty or not. Right? Either you are or you aren't. Either they're going to prosecute or they're not. And I think saying that, that the DOJ doesn't operate as some adjunct uh, piece of governing body of the Congress is exactly right, Bill. Okay. Now, Rush Limbaugh has a few opinions on this. Just roll this real fast, guys. This from yesterday. This has always been a political effort to destroy Trump before the election and after during the transition and after his inauguration. It has always been that. It has always been telegraphed. It's always been there for all of us to see. If, if Limbaugh's right, what do House Democrats do then, sir? Well, I think Rush Limbaugh is right. And I was thinking about this this morning, uh, looking at the times that the Steele dossier, so this is the dirt that the Democrats had paid for, they began receiving that information in June of 2016, long before the election, and really a long time before they briefed the president, uh, the new president Trump on this in January of 17. There were multiple installments of that. There are multiple ways that the FBI in short order, this is the most powerful law enforcement on earth, agency on earth. How is it that they couldn't figure out whether or not Michael Cohen was in Prague? Uh, Carter Page, uh, he had been willing to talk the F to the FBI. In fact, he sent James Comey a letter in, in October of 2016. So, you know, month after month after month goes by, the most powerful law enforcement agency on earth, something doesn't add up here, Bill. It just stinks. It really stinks, and I think the American people know it, and I think their they're gigs up, and the Democrats are in trouble because they perpetuated this hoax on the American people, the Clinton, the Clinton folks, and then the Democrats in Congress. Don't forget, and I'll, I'll finish with this, the Democrats opposed us every single time we had to go to try to, whether, whether or not it was to figure out that it was Fusion GPS that wrote the Steele dossier and they were being paid by the Clinton campaign and the Democrats themselves, they opposed that. You remember when we put a memo out to say, look, there's been FISA abuse here that's occurred. They opposed that. They even wrote the court that. So these are the same characters that, quite frankly, are not being held accountable by the press. And, and I don't well, mean we, you specifically, but, but the press has really let us down here in this country. Well, there's a federal prosecutor looking at all this right now. I think the one thing that Barr has said consistently is that if you're worried about Russian meddling in our election, you should also be worried about um, domestic meddling, just to, to paraphrase the words he is using. Adam Schiff wants Bob Mueller to testify. Here's the latest from the Democratic congressman from your state as well, Adam Schiff. Now, what makes Bill Barr so dangerous um, is that it is Bill Barr's view that the president could have shut down the Mueller investigation any time he wanted because he thought it unfair. That is a prescription for a president who is utterly above the law. We know that did not happen, but just bring it to present day now. What is Speaker Pelosi's play? If you saw her on Jimmy Kimmel last night, she was pretty fired up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that uh, she wants to go down the path of, of, of impeaching a president, uh, especially since that, you know, th this whole obstruction idea, uh, you, know, you know, so there's this idea there was no underlying crime, right? So are you really going to go after somebody for obstructing justice when there's no underlying crime? And look, the only time that I'm aware of that this has been done, this is like when you know, like whoever they've, they've been investigating, they destroyed a murder weapon or they destroyed tapes or they did something there really was and the, and the prosecution believed uh, beyond a reasonable doubt that there really was a crime and they did something to cover that crime up. 
In fact, what the president did here is I always joke the Comey memos are really defense exhibit A against an obstruction of justice charge because you have the president of the United States saying, look, Comey, investigate this. I, I you know, Cohen wasn't in Prague. Uh, there's no P tape. Uh, I didn't have any girlfriends in Russia. I didn't talk to anybody in Russia. That's the president saying this. So, so how are they really going to get an obstruction of justice charge? The whole thing is asinine from the start. And what they're doing is they just keep digging. That's what the Democrats in Congress keep doing. They keep digging. And if the press would actually tell the truth in this country, uh, I think this would be, there would be overwhelming that, that what Barr's doing to, to rein this in and actually go after and investigate the investigators, I think you would see 75% of America say, yeah, what happened here is wrong. Wow. We shouldn't use the counterintelligence capabilities in this country to target a political campaign. You know, Barr said again, uh, he used that phrase, don't hang together. Things were not hanging together when he went asking questions. Things were not jiving was the, uh, the way he phrased it with CBS. Mm -hmm. Sir, th thank you for your time. Devin Nunes there in California. Right.